Welcome to the City of London for the annual flag raising ceremony to honor Armed Forces Week. Now normally we'd be lined up here in Guildhall Yard outside the headquarters of the City of London Corporation all buffed up for a military parade. But today I as Chief Commoner alongside the Lord Mayor and the officer, the General Officer in Command of London will be taking part in a slimmed down socially distanced ceremony and we'll be inviting you to join us online. Armed Forces Week is a celebration of our UK Armed Forces. The week culminates in Armed Forces Day which falls this Saturday. The event has been celebrated here every year since 2009. The Armed Forces are always there for us at a time of need and a time of crisis. And never has that been more evident than in 2020. The City of London Corporation has long historic connections with the armed forces. Twelve of its regiments across all three of the services have special privileged status in the city. Moreover, our livery companies support more than 200 reservist and active units. And the Lord Mayor is president of the London Reservist Force and Cadets Association, which supports reservists as they work in their day jobs in the city. I'm also proud to say that the City of London is regarded by the MOD as a gold award employer for its upholding the Armed Forces Covenant, which helps reservists hold down a full-time job and serve at the same time. So I'm immensely proud that once again we are assembled here, albeit in some cases virtually, to raise the flag to honour our armed forces. We will now start with a video showing the flag raising. This will be followed by a short address from the Lord Mayor and the Assistant Chief of Defence Staff, Major General Simon Brooks Ward. We will then have a Q&A session with London reservists, those who have been very much on the front line during our COVID-19 response. Please ensure that you have your microphones and cameras switched off throughout the ceremony. And should any of you experience technical difficulties, please don't hesitate to contact us on the chat box and one of our support team will get back to you. And now, without further ado, let's begin the flag raising for the Armed Forces Week 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we meet to dedicate and set apart this standard. That it may be in the sight of God a sign of our duty towards Queen and country, and a symbol of the service our armed forces have given, continue to give, and go on from this time giving for us. We pray for all who work in the armed forces, especially in this time of international crisis, those who are helping both at home and overseas. May your fatherly hand be over them. May your Holy Spirit be with them and may their labours in loyalty and devotion to Queen and country be established on a sure foundation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On behalf of myself and all those within the great city of London, it is a great privilege to be with you all. I am incredibly proud to be here today 
and to show my and the City of London's respect. Today we honour and thank all of you who protect and defend our nation so that we may live in a safe and secure society. From our current serving personnel, men and women of all three services, to your predecessors and to your potential future members, the cadets, I would like to say thank you. And as the President of the City of London's Reserve Forces and Cadets Association, I say to you all that we at the City of London Corporation understand that defence is crucial in ensuring the resilience of our cities and society, especially in the difficult circumstances the world finds itself in. COVID-19 has affected our lives in ways we could not imagine. And I know that, for some of you, it has meant that your colleagues or your friends and family, those closest to you, have been affected. And to, and to anyone out there affected, you have my sympathies. During these difficult times, you have continued your difficult task, keeping our country safe. But what most people won't know is that all parts of our armed forces have been volunteering and supporting their communities most at risk from COVID-19. Whether that's the city's very own Associated Regiment, the 7th Battalion, the Rifles, providing nearly 100 Army reservists for COVID-19 mobile testing units in the Thames Valley as part of Operation Rescript. The 256 Field Hospital and City Associated Regiment, which was responsible for the building of the NHS Nightingale Hospital at the Excel Centre. The Royal Air Force, dropping ventilators and supplies to the Caribbean overseas territories to help them fight the pandemic. Or the hundreds of Royal Navy medics deployed in hospitals across the UK, helping doctors to treat those infected with COVID-19. Your hard work, bravery and focus is exceptional. And as announced last month, with the government giving extra funding to support frontline armed forces charities across the UK, I know this work will go from strength to strength. As we raise this flag, let us remember all those who have given their lives for our freedom. Show our appreciation to those who are fighting for our safety and thank those who are helping fight the pandemic. The city and the whole country is indebted to you all. Thank you. My Lord Mayor, may I firstly thank you on behalf of all the armed forces represented here today, both for your kind words and for raising the Armed Forces Day flag over the Guildhall. The armed forces exist to protect the nation at home and abroad, but we can only do this with the backing of the communities that we serve. The support that the City of London gives to the armed forces is much appreciated. The flag you have raised today is a clear and visible manifestation of that support. But there is so much more to it than that. The connection between the armed forces and the city is long and deep, and your support to the privileged regiments, both regular and reserve, the affiliations with the livery companies, the support to cadets and the prominence that the military are given in the Lord Mayor's show are all demonstrations of that support. There are, of course, many ex-regulars and reservists who work in the square mile, many of whom contribute to annual charitable work, such as the Poppy Appeal. As the Joint Military Commander in London, I have been leading the tri-service military support to the multi-agency effort to combat COVID-19. Many of those involved have been from the privileged regiments and many from the reserve. And you may well have seen the news reports on the mobile testing units, which I think today will reach the testing target of over 65,000 across London in the last few weeks. 
That is in addition to the support we've given to the Nightingale Hospital and to distributing vital PPE both across London and more broadly. Whether to health providers, government departments or elsewhere, we have deployed planners, medical and IT specialists and liaison officers. In total, 1,100 involved across London. In addition, we have maintained, albeit in a modified form, our public duties. And on the 13th of June, as you may have seen on the television, we conducted a celebration in Windsor of the official birthday of Her Majesty the Queen with a turnout of the Windsor Castle Guard. Our success, of course, is due to the fantastic young men and women who join us. And the armed forces continue to work hard at recruiting a diverse workforce that reflects society. We actively engage with underrepresented groups through a detailed engagement and outreach plan. I know there is a strong desire in the community to help support our veterans, and this is much appreciated. Thankfully, few of those leaving the services require long-term support. You may be interested to know the average age of somebody leaving the services today is 29, and the vast majority move seamlessly to excellent second careers in civilian life. As you know, this was originally planned to be a much bigger event, and I am delighted that you have gone ahead today with this more modest version. One advantage of you being the Lord Mayor for the first time since 1860 to undertake a consecutive second year is that we will all benefit from your leadership. And I am hopeful you will be able to have the full parade we had originally organised for you next year. So once again, my Lord Mayor, thank you to you and to the City of London for all your support.